About 5,000 farmers in Adamawa State are now equipped with knowledge on seeds planting and marketing by the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture. IITA was among the participants at the 2024 wet season agricultural input fairs in Adamawa State. TVC News senior reporter Hawulabi Adenusi filed in this report. After that, we'll return with business news. President Tinubu administration aspires to transform the nation's agricultural sector, hence the introduction of his policy on food security. The USAID-funded Feed the Future Nigeria Integrated Agricultural Activity has been collaborating with other agencies to revolutionize the nation's agricultural sector. The theme for this wet season Agri Input Fair 2024 is driving food security and livelihood in Northeast Nigeria through seed system development. The agricultural input fairs have touched Adamawa, Borno, Gombe, and Yobe. The event serves as the center point for stakeholders to converge, exchange knowledge, and embrace cutting edge agricultural innovations. There is also platforms for showcasing the product of the community-based seed entrepreneurs newly accredited by the National Agricultural Seed Council. We have been doing uh, agriculture before, but today it's not an agriculture, but it's an agricultural business. Mr. Pakash Salwal, the chief of party Feed the Future Nigeria Integrated Agricultural Activity, shed more light on the program. The implementing partners of the activity also encourage farmers to adapt early maturing and high yield seed varieties to reduce the effects of drought and other farming. The beginning of farming is the seed. That was why we concentrated more on getting improved seed to the farmers. Governor Omar Fintiri, who was represented by the State Commissioner of Agriculture, employ farmers to take advantage of new technologies and system development. We are advising them, the, the farmers, to adopt this seed because if they are going for the traditional seed, every day they are losing. They are not getting a good yield. The activity supports the vulnerable population in 18 local government areas of Adamawa, Borno, Gombe and Yobe states to re-engage in basic farming activities and aim to advance the objectives of inclusive and sustainable agriculture-led economic growth.